Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page eight of Well Groomed and I've got my A sides laid out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have two flaps. Um, the flap that's going, I have to think about this, the orientation in the book. The flap that's going on the right hand side is a small flap, which is four and five eighths by eight. Four and five eighths by eight. And then the larger of the two flaps is six and five eighths by eight. Six and five eighths by eight. Going on the left hand side. Flush with the edge of the pocket page. There we go. Okay, so we're going to decorate the smaller of the flaps with this black paper which is from Patterns and Solids and here it is. I'm going to use my contrast sheet to help me with placement and to also make it more visually appealing to you guys. It's hard to see the edges on camera. Now, this is going to go here, and I'm just going to lay it here to get a, a look at it because we're going to use this with a magnet behind it to hold it all in place. Okay, and I think that's about right. So we're going to place the mat first, then locate the magnet on the large flap, then cover it. I'm going to check this real quick. It's straight. Press that into place. Now we're ready to put our magnets on. I need to put a little bit more glue in there. That's probably a little too much, but. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was gonna come out. Okay, that's okay. It's gonna have a mat on it. Okay, let's do our magnets. I'm getting my fat tape ready. ready to get our pattern on it. Okay. Hey, um, thanks everybody for giving feedback on the, the latest reveals. 
that's really helpful for us um, to hear your feedback on what you uh, like, which collections you like, and and uh, if you like any of the new formats. Um, and in this case, we had a couple of different formats. We had the um, the six by six come out um, with Stamperia, so that's new. And then we had a new something. I can't remember what it was called, but. Um, it was for Chow Bella, and uh, it's always good to hear what you guys are thinking. We try to be a little bit cautious with ordering and, you know, don't want to have inventory that's not moving. But most of those things we can get, even if you miss out on the first wave, we can order more. So getting, hearing your feedback helps us with that, helps us with the planning process. Okay, there is the A side of page eight. I'm going to organize the, the inside and dry fit it, make sure everything's inked so this will go together really quickly. Um, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, everybody, I've lined up the B side for page eight. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with um, the centerpiece. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. And I forgot to refill my glue while I was offline, but I may have to stop and do that. Maybe we can squeeze one more page out. Okay. Again, we're on page eight. I'm sorry, the air is running. I can't get around it. I'm gonna to try to remember to filter it out. <clears throat> I think I forgot to on one of the pages. Um, it's really hot here, so I can't really get around the air for the next couple of days. Okay, that's in. Okay, so this is already prepped and ready to go. Actually, it's not. It needs to be trimmed a little bit. So we're gonna switch gears and go back over to this side. See how it looks. That looks good. This is from the 12 by 12. No, it's not. This is from the eight by eight collection pack. And this is two inches. This whole panel is six inches. And I'm, uh, am I right on or I need to, no, it's good. We're ready to go. But it doesn't have to be two inches. It's just, you need a red strip here. It could be an inch wide. Depends on what your scraps are looking like. Um, yeah, that's gonna work out just fine. Let's go down a little. Perfect. All right, so that is finished. Now on this side, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add our red to the base page. And then we're going to add the well-groomed over here. <clears throat> Again, the well-groomed page is from the 8x8 collection pack. And the red is from the patterns and solids. The centerpiece is from the 12 by 12 collection. And if my memory serves me, the centerpiece is six inches wide. <clears throat> okay. Then I've trimmed this out to go right here, this direction. I think this last piece, I'm just gonna have to trim a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it laying down so I don't have to wait so long for the glue to come back. And then I will refill it while I work between pages. Good. Sounds good. 
we go. And here's our last piece. I'm going to set it where it goes and trim it to fit. Okay, be right back. Let's see how we did. Looks good. Just need to ink it where we trimmed it. I think I got everything else covered. Flip it over because it might fit a little better. Oh, it does. I, I noticed when I marked it, it was at a slight angle. Okay, there we go. So that is, everyone, page eight. So let's close it all back up so you can remember what it looked like. Page eight. So this is from Patterns and Solid. This is uh, Pattern and Solid. The reds are Patterned and Solid. 12 by 12. 8 by 8, 8 by 8. Okay, that's it for page 8.